hello welcome back this 11th video is on sending two analog datas from xb we use adc0 and adc1 pin 20 one potentiometer is used for sending adc0 and at pin 19 another potentiometer is used to send adc1 value at receive end we use pwm0 at pin 6 and pwm7 pwm1 at pin 7 this uh, ADC is sent by IO line passing method. Now let us set the parameters for the first XP. Uh, my value is 1234 and uh, DL is 5678 and search for D0 and set it to ADC2 and D1 set it to that also to ADC2. While using AT commands use AT D0 2 and AT D1 2. Now uh, samples number of samples taken go to it and set it to 1 at it is 1 and at ir that is a sample rate use the time calculator and uh, we'll set it for 100 millisecond which is 64 in hex so at ir is 64 now click on write to write the changes now go to the second uh, xp and uh, click on that uh, module for setting the parameters confirm that it is under channel c and 3332 span id my is 5674 and dl is 1234 and go to p0 set it to pwm output pwm2 so at p0 is 2 and as we are using second analog go to p1 and set that also to pwm2 at p1 is also 2 and more uh, most importantly set the ata that is the IA address from where your IO line passing is done. That is 1234. That is the my address of the first XB. Now click on write and click the console to get the packetized data. This packetized data starts with 70 delimeter and then 2 bytes for count and then 83, which is the code for 16 bit module addressing, and then the source address is. Uh, one two three four that is given two bytes and then signal strength status and uh, number of samples and then active signal bytes represented by two bytes here we are from our transmitter we are using two analog uh, inputs so this is this will be represented in this active signal bytes and then the two bytes for sample data that is analog data is found in this sample data so we can easily while using an Arduino or ESP32 we can parse this packetized data and do whatever we want now let us test the two analog signals transmitted from first XB to the second one so from the first XB turn the first potentiometer that is connected to ADC 0 pin 20 this red LED, notice the red LED this varies according to the variation of this first potentiometer and now vary the second potentiometer which is connected at uh, pin 19 notice the green LED this changes so two analog values can be uh, transmitter using this IO line passing method so output will be at PWM0 pin 6 and the second output analog will be PW1 which is at pin 7 this is IO line passing for analog signals.